When you see the option to switch between two different visualizations in Power BI, like this over here, you probably straight away think, ah, those are two charts, and then with bookmarks, we can switch between one and the other. However, actually, this is just one chart and no bookmarks. Now, we have here a chart that shows the per month rent prices for different cities that would be insightful to know the spread of these prices. And for this, we could create something like a box plot for each city. First of all, I'm going to visualize these box plots, these ranges. Now we can do that with arrow bars. And here we have the option to add arrow bars to our series rent price average. I want to have two different types of ranges. The one that goes from the minimum to the maximum and the inner one that needs to look a little bit different. And therefore I need more than one series if I want to be able to build two or more arrow bars. This we can do with dummies. So let me create a dummy and then we do this one more time. But then we can add them to the chart. Now I go back to formatting. Then here we can go to columns and then from layout there we can set the space between the series to 100%. Let's go to the data labels and then for dummy one we turn the data labels off and also for dummy two we also turn them off. So if I now go to the arrow bars you see ah we have dummy one dummy two. Let's turn the first ones on. So the upper bound is going to be the max value for the rental prices. And here for the lower bound, we choose the min value. If we now go to dummy two, there we can also add arrow bars. But here, the lower and upper bound are going to be the 25th and 75th percentile. Now these arrow bars are basically the visualization that I want to show on a click. And then the actual column chart that we started off with should disappear. So I want to toggle between the two different views. Now for that, we need to, well, create a button. I'm going to go here to modeling. And then we're going to make use of parameters in the numeric range. And we can call this parameter toggle. Here the default 01 doesn't really matter. And we want to have a slicer on the page. Now it shows a slider by default. Let's change that from slicer settings. So if we now go here back to the data pane, select dummy one. Now the same thing we can do also for dummy two. And when I click on one, then ah, we have our arrow bars back. Okay. Now, what about the main columns that are visible? Well, there we need to do the same. Now here you can choose to do it on that main measure. That's probably not a go good idea. It's probably better if we create a copy of this one. So new measure, copy it over. So let's go to our visual. And then here we replace the rent price average with rent price average on select. And now we just need to take that slicer and turn it into a toggle so that the user has a nice switch between showing the average prices and the spread of the prices for each city.